is BBB Productions and this is a video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make Windows XP boot even faster. Now Windows XP, a highlight of Windows XP was it booted very fast and it does for most people. But there are a few more ways that you can make it boot even faster. So if you do everything I'm showing you, you probably get between 10 and 25 seconds less boot time. It all depends on what your situation is. Now, first thing I'm going to show you is how to disable the My Recent Documents thing. It saves all the recent documents that you've used and that makes the boot time go slower. So, to disable that, just go to Start, and then Run and then type in reg edit hit ok it opens up your registry editor now you have to go through the tabs the first one is the user tab and then go to down to the software tab and then go to the microsoft tab and then go to the windows tab then the current version and then go down to policies and then click on explore once now once you click on it they'll have all the files in there just right click go to new click on D word value create a D word value okay you're gonna wanna name it no recent docs history just like I have here no recent docs history. This will be in the video description so you know exactly what to type. Okay, once you create it, it should be in here. Just double click on it. And by default, the value will be zero. You have to set that to one. And then hit OK. Then reboot your computer and it will go into effect. Um, okay, that is one thing that you can do in order to improve the boot speed of Windows XP. Uh, basically the reason it makes it faster is because that's one less thing it has to load. Alright, the next thing I want to show you is when you restart your computer usually there's a Windows XP logo there and that takes about 8 seconds of boot time pretty much. That's the majority of it. Now if you get rid of that your boot speed will go really fast. But do keep in mind that if you do do these steps I want to show you and get rid of the Windows XP logo and restart your computer you will also be get, getting rid of the option to go to the boot screen or the safe mode screen so if you don't if you do have problems with the computer I highly recommend you do not do this alright in order to do it again go to start then run and then Type in msconfig and then hit OK and then go to the boot tab right here and then down here there will be a little box. Click on that and then just go down and hit OK. Before you hit OK, there's something else that you can do. Now, this is for if you have um, multiple operating systems. Like if you have Windows XP, Windows 2000, then you can um, you can reduce the seconds that it gives you in order to hit the screen such as 30, 10, it will automatically give you 30, 10 if you don't respond. If you do respond, it will shut off. But you can reduce that right here or you can click boot lock and get rid of that. Um, but I recommend not messing around with that if you do not have multiple operating systems on your computer. So again, just hit OK. should restart your computer. Now the next thing I want to show you is whenever you have programs up and then you um, 
shut down your computer, it will end the processes in your computer. And it will take time in order to do that. So this will also make when you boot up your computer faster and when you shut it down. Now to do this, again, just open the registry editor by going to start, run, and typing reg edit. And then go to um, the user tab. And then go to the control panel tab. And then go down to the desktop tab. And then just click on it once. And then highlight where it says auto end task. Just double click on it. And by default, the value should be zero. Okay, just change the value to one and hit OK. And that will change that. And you can always go back and redo it. And again, with anything I show you, you can just go back and reverse it. Like the first thing we did, how you create a D word key and then set the value to one. Instead of just deleting the file, you can just go back and set the value to zero. So it'll shut it off or reverse the effect. All right, this has been a video tutorial by BBB Productions. Don't forget to rate this video and also subscribe to my YouTube.